It's Jay Kim from the Oregon Surf Perch Fishing Club. It's Monday, November 20th. It's 10.05 a.m. I'm here at Canyon Drive Park in Lincoln City. I've been getting skunked a lot at 33rd and 35th. I think the major reason is because I don't use sand shrimp. But I'm here to try a different beach. Uh, I'm coming at a time when I was waiting for fishing conditions to be pleasant. It was really cold this morning at 40. Uh, lower than 40, but it feels a lot colder than what the temperature forecast is and High tide was about 630 this morning and it was about a five and a half foot high tide Low tide is in about two hours uh, Two and a half hours and it's a three and a half foot low tide So the tidal swing is only two and a half feet over six hours so I don't expect fishing conditions to change much while I'm here. So it's like uh, 48 degrees. I just waited till the sun came out, so it's very pleasant. There's no wind. Uh, swell energy is supposed to be about 800 today, so it's a little bit higher than what I'd like, but actually it doesn't look that bad right here. So now I'm looking at catching conditions and I see a lot of crashing waves. Uh, good ones are way out there, but this just doesn't look bad. It's a little shallow though. So just wanted to get out today because next week is really gnarly in terms of what the forecast looks like. And then king tides start from the 25th to the 27th. Uh, starting tomorrow, things are looking pretty nasty. So that's why I wanted to go out. I actually wanted to go out yesterday too, but uh, my mind said yes, but my body said no. So I wasn't able to go. I was supposed to meet a couple of club members yesterday. Uh, they caught fish. It was Michael Kemp and Siri Kossel, I think his last name is, I forget. But anyway, I was supposed to fish with them and wasn't able to make it. Okay, I only took one cast there. I'm going to go look for some deeper water. It's too shallow here for my case. You can't see it, but the contour of this beach is very shallow and it's very flat. So that's the reason I'm having a hard time getting out to deeper water because I'm guessing it's really flat all the way out there. What an absolutely gorgeous day it's turning out to be. It's about, um, been here now about, I wanna say 15 minutes, 10 minutes. But man, the sun's out, blue sky, uh, temperature's warm, no wind. You couldn't ask for any better fishing conditions. Unfortunately, catching conditions are the same no matter where I go. Uh, there's decent crashing waves, but there's very shallow where they're all breaking. The good waves, I'm only getting like maybe a third of the distance to the good waves. So, uh, fishing conditions aren't ideal, but fishing conditions are totally awesome. So great to be standing in the surf on the Oregon coast. Fortunately, my snap swivel on the top came undone, so I lost my entire leader. So I got to re-rig. What a bummer. That's the only disadvantage of uh, using hardware like this is that if you tie it directly to the leader, You'll never have this problem. I do it because it's a lot easier for me to re-rig because I hate tying knots on the beach. So again, it's all personal preference, but I'm paying for my choice right now. Oh man. There's the benefit of using the snap swivel. As I was re-rigging, I forgot to loop it through my top eye and uh, I would have been having to break my knot off if I had used a knot instead I can just get the snap swivel through the top eye and then rehook up my leader but uh, I do stupid stuff like that all the time so here's the case where the snap swivel saved me a lot of time I would have had to retie a knot I forgot to mention that when I re-rigged I went back to three worms I didn't feel like messing with the shrimp and the gel anymore so if I get a bite I'll put one on and see what happens 35 minutes now and of that 35 I was re-rigging for 10 of it so I've only been fishing for 25 minutes of it but everywhere I go it's really shallow where I'm casting into so after about four or five casts I'm bagging it and I'm gonna head over to 35th Street two members caught some fish there yesterday although they were using sand shrimp so I haven't been doing very well there but Sand shrimp seems to be the key over there. I'm just too lazy to use it. But I'm gonna go over there because usually uh, catching conditions are a lot better there because the beach is a little bit steeper and it's a little bit, water's a little bit deeper there. Okay, so I made it to 35th in about 10 minutes. 
and check conditions here do look better than where I just was although they don't look optimal but there's a few nice places so I'm uh, just gonna try here for a short time I don't expect very much because I've been getting skunked here a lot and I think the main reason is because I don't use sand trim because the guys that I've come with who have used sand shrimp and have reported fishing at this beach, uh, they've been able to catch pretty decent fish. So I'll give it a few tries and see how it goes. Things are definitely better. Even though the best waves are way out there, at least there's a couple of big breaking waves that are within casting distance. So uh, I'm glad I moved. I doubt it will translate into any action based on my experience, but it makes me feel better anyway. I go the more shallower it gets and it's kind of like the beach I was just at where it's really shallow where I'm casting into so I'm gonna start heading back down south just by as I was walking uh, just north of the parking lot but it was a small bite but at least I finally got a bite Jeez. So it hasn't translated into any action but catch conditions actually down here are pretty decent so I am just about maybe 50 to 75 yards south of the 35th Street parking lot. I just wanted to make sure I came out today because the next 7 to 10 days, uh, I don't see much opportunity to go out because of swell energy. So I've been here an hour now. Got in about, I want to say 12, 10 to 12 casts. Only had one tiny bite. Uh, fishing conditions were awesome today at both beaches. Man, we couldn't ask for a lovelier day and the reason i came out i wanted to come out yesterday too but they ate something saturday that i'm still recovering from so i'd still fish more today but my body's telling me you had enough go home so again total skunk at canyon drive park uh skunk here but at least i got a tiny bite but i'm thinking it was a silver so i don't know when i'm coming out the next time because the next seven to ten days look pretty gnarly and king tides are hitting november 25th through 27th so i'll have to keep an eye on the forecast and see if i can sneak in a day here and there okay that's it today